Okay, everyone, I am back. I'm back. I'm still recording the game for the day. Okay, in Van Cortland on the Bronx, New York. This is Black Lives Matter event. We're doing it with La Wood from Front Court Master, DJ Mario on the scene, Lordine, and all these players are doing a fantastic job. You won, right? Not yet. We haven't won a game yet. Oh, right, right. You're the blue team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was close. This couldn't quite make it, huh? Yeah. All right, introduce yourself here. Uh, Kamari, nice to meet you. I'm from the Bronx. Uh, I'm out here representing with my dad to show love to Black Lives Matter. Who's your dad? Oh, Richard Rose. Oh, okay, yes, I gotta get him. He was showing us some uh, back in the day. What do you think about that, your dad um, being a, uh, a legend? I feel like it's a blessing to see that everybody of how old they are, they're out here still supporting each other and still showing love to each other and really working hard. Yeah, that's great. And uh, being, step a little bit closer to up this mm -hmm. There you go. Now, so that being this is Black Lives Matter, you know, a lot is going on in the world, in this country, right here in our own community. So as a young black man, what does Black Lives Matter mean to you? It means acceptance, um, importance to it, each other, like showing that we all matter, no matter what the situation is, no matter what circumstances are, we matter. Great, great, great. And uh, growing up in the house with your father being um, who he was, uh, how does that make you feel, having a, a, a father, you know, I guess, was he famous? Was he, um... Oh, well, I don't say he was famous, <laughs> but he did play all over the world. He played in Mexico and things of that nature. So I feel like growing up in a household with him, it made it like a very concrete thing, like something that I had to be done. Like, I felt like this had to be done for me. Like, I had to go and succeed in life. So he made it happen. So in other words, he took you in the backyard and make you throwing balls and dribble and <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, I, I can imagine what Michael Jordan father, uh, father did with him and, right. and another another athlete. I mean, I remember the um, story with Tiger Woods. He had a, um, a club in his hand. He was three years old. Yeah. You know. So what, what were some of the lessons you learned from your father? I think most of my lessons was at eight years old. He made me start playing basketball. Made me pick up basketball, and ever since then it was just like go, and that's all it was. Just go. Oh, just go? He just he <laughs> threw you in the water, huh? In the water. Threw me to the wolves. That's all it was. <laughs> well, that's great. That's great. Well, you must be having fun out here, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that smile. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a blessing to be out here and, and enjoying the time with them. And, uh, and I hope there's many more of these. Great. Me too. All right. So go ahead and get your rest. <laughs> Thank you. All right. There you have it. Um, young man speaking. Ray, um, I can imagine him being in the house with someone like um, Rick, his father. Like I said, he traveled the world, Mexico and uh, so forth. So uh, keep in mind about Black Lives Matter, what it means to you, what it means to this world, and what it means to your community. And uh, let's make something positive happen, especially November 3rd. Do not, do not let that day go by without you pushing the button to vote. We need some good people in the White House. We need some better people in the White House. We need a president in the White House, what we really need. All right, so I'm going to get back to the game. And this is Diamond Video. If you need an event, record it, uh, document it. Please give me a call, 212-300-5665. You can reach me on Facebook on the Michelle Lee and my Diamond Video page. And also have a war page, Women Are Rising. Uh, W-A-R, go to that page if you're a female entrepreneur and you are starting out or you are seasoned. Let us know, give us some points and tips on how to make your business more successful and, and what have you created during this COVID season. And I hope it, it is a season and that it will be over. But anyway, Love, peace, and blessing to everyone. Enjoy your day. We're here at Van Cortland, 80 Van Cortland Park South at the 40 and over run at Gooby Park. We have two players here. How you doing? Uh, my name is Jay Tarrant. And Warren J. Story. Um, today's the last day. How do y'all feel about the season? Oh, it's real good, real good. It's a beautiful weather, and we're going to ball out here today. Well, due to the fact that what's going on in the world, uh, I'm glad to come out here with a couple of guys and to have fun, get some exercise, and um, kick butt. <laughs> Do y'all think one of y'all going to get rookie of the year this year? Right <laughs> <laughs> I've been a rookie already. <laughs> Thank you and God bless. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
How does it feel to be oh, married? Man, it feels fantastic, brother. It feels fantastic, man. I'm blessed. I'm happy. What do you want to say to your wife? Oh, yeah, man. Your they, camera. Uh, te amo mucho, mi amor. All right, all the way from you. Congratulations, to the I just want to post it. Right. Married life. Thank you. Married thank life. You. He looks happy. Love it, love it. <laughs> Say something, honey. How's the game going? Oh, boy, I needed that one. Now I could go home and relax. <laughs> Oh, it's a good game. Everybody out. Good to be out here. You know we can't have a stop, yo. You say something about the game today? I'm sure I'm happy to be out here. I'm glad the guys invited me. Uh, first time playing in two years, so the 60 years definitely got an advantage on me. Um, but I'm just glad to be out here having a great time with people from the community. Thank you. Black Lives Matter? Black Lives Matter for sure. We need, we need justice in this country. It's about time and we need change so everybody go and vote. <laughs> I'm getting up. Oh, I gotta get up for you. Ah, yeah. Ooh. I love this little park right here. Hello, my name is Simba. How y'all doing? I love, I love what's going on here. This is beautiful. The only thing I just didn't quite agree with was the 5 a.m. wake up on a Sunday morning. Ouch! Lord have mercy. But other than that, everything else is beautiful. I'm loving this. I am loving this. And that's right, I am COVID-19 free. Black Thank lives you. Matter? Black lives do matter. The question is, for the young kids, do your lives matter? Because you're taking things the wrong way, you're shooting each other up, and that doesn't accomplish anything. So, in reality, whose life matters? There you go. Enough said. Because you know you're going to shoot it. No, no, no. 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 You're on the floor. Why are you holding the ball? Yeah. Why are you holding the ball? Yeah. 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 Check me out. Can you say something on the camera, please? What you need me to say? I'll talk to Mike. I'll talk to Mike. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, always. How are you doing today? Oh, the event is beautiful. Rob puts together a good thing all the time. You know, we got guys like Soup and Bernard. And all these guys, we've been playing together over 40 years. Some good, good players here. It's always a good day when we all get together. Right. Thank you. All the time. All the time with all people. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, I just heard we had two candidates for Rookie of the Year. Now we got two candidates for Player of the Year right here. How you doing? How you doing? Your name? Your name? I don't know. Rick Rhodes. Rick Rhodes, the most famous Rick Rhodes. Um, how do y'all like the season? How do y'all think we're going to end the season? And which one of y'all think are y'all going to get player of the year for the season? And well, in this, in this competition here, it's going to be good. It's going to give us a chance to unite and to uh, bond again and to go out and get some exercises and have some fun. Hey God, do you have anything else to show for us? Well, this is my son. Uh, he's a junior at Cornell University. And um, I brought my, my album play on the varsity. Number 33, getting that rebound. I was the leading rebounder for City College. The next picture was a baby hook shot because Kareem and I are the same age, 72. That was a baby hook shot from Kareem. The next picture, playing at Queens College, number 33, Rick Rhodes. Here I am playing against NYU with Harvey Young and Javon and A.J. Chappelle. This is just a, 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 the, the team from 1970-71 at City College. That's me in the middle, Richard Bailey, Otis Lloyd. The next one here is, this is Rick Rhodes, the first Sikh student to play for City University. Joey, Stewie, Bobby, and Jay. Very good team. But the next year at City College, the 1970-71 championship team. We took, we went to the state championship. I'm going to give you the names. Juan Cohen, Kenny Anderson, Ira Levine, Gene Hayes, 
Rick Rhodes, Richard Bailey, John McCooch, Charlie Williams, George Carucci, Otis Lloyd, who went to Sweden, Jay Milstein, Marvin Johnson, John Graviano, and the late Gene Kitt. We won the state championship at City College. This is a picture of the 1984 Rucker Pro basketball team. That's Rick Rhodes, Gene Pendarvis, Carl Anderson, his brother Kenny Anderson from Columbia, Chuck Butler from Wagner, Mickey Morris, Jack Booker, Tommy, Earl, Jack Booker was the coach and the manager. We won the, the Rucker Pro Tournament 1984. City College in the 60s, the Sikh students could not play on the varsity team. So we had our own intramural team. They called us the eight. We were, at the time, they called us the all Negro team in the 60s. And the last photo is of the championship team at 1950 when City College beat Bradley University for the NCAA and the NIT. These are City College mementos and history. God bless America. What does Black Lives Matter mean to you? Black Lives means that we have to stick together, work, and have a mission so that we can all stay alive, survive, and, pro and progress. Looking back at those photos, how do you feel about those photos when you see yourself back in that day? This is 50 years ago. God has blessed me and my buddies to be able to uh, to perform and to keep staying together and to be have our, our bond for life. And this is very important for black men like we're talking men in their 60s and their 70s who are here and who are doing fantastic things in our communities. Thank you and good night. <laughs> Okay, all right, so we got Warren here, and he was playing hard today. He was playing very, very hard. How many baskets did you get, or buckets? I really don't know. Um, I'm just there. I'm a team player, so once we're in the flow, I'm not really worried about how much I, I score. It's just making sure that we all try to win, but since we didn't win, proves I have enough buskets. That's right, you were the blue team. <laughs> yes, yes. So, you know, we, we'll come back uh, at the next game and try to uh, play a little harder, play more defense, and see what we come up with. But you did have a good comeback. I mean, you yeah, was down on, um, what, 93, and you came up to 97. Exactly. That's great. You know, tenacity, uh, working together and actually uh, passing the ball and uh, getting it out to the uh, open man. That was a good way we came. But our defense relaxed on, on uh, when we was on defense, we relaxed a lot of shots. So they got the buckets. But, in, in, uh, um, but overall, you had a great time. Yeah. I'm always when I'm out here with the guys uh, having fun. Uh, it's like you said, the last uh, last game of the summer uh, with well, what's been going on with the uh, world. Just getting out here, just having some fun and uh, getting some air in my body and, and my lungs. And staying out of trouble. <laughs> oh, that's great. I don't know if I got you all on camera. It's kind of hard to hold the camera. No, well, we, we want to see. I, I know, I know. I'm not exactly, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, short. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, but it was, I'm, I'm very, very happy to meet you. And um, so, you got another game going on? Yes, I'm going to wait here. Uh, I think we have one more game, uh, and we'll see how we come out through that. Okay, so being this the last game of the season for this, I mean, I'm sure there's other basketball games going on uh, in the city. So what is your last thoughts, you know, for this particular um, event? Well, it was a good idea with uh, that we came up with that's coming out. We started off with like two on twos and threes on three. And once we found out that up here in the Bronx there's running, it was a good thing to get back out in the court and stretch some legs. Hopefully we can make this a yearly event. And um, and go through the, all these all the boroughs and have a championship at the end of the year with this. Fantastic. Um, you want to some slow words, is, you know, from front court masters when he put this together. Um, say some words to him to let him know that a great job that he did for organizing this. Oh, you know, La Amigo, way back. Uh, we've been doing this for a long time. I've been supporting him uh, with his course, and the course is very good. Uh, how you doing? Uh, so basically, you know, La, keep it up. Uh, I, you know, I got your back. Uh, like I said, we're, I'm like the road bomb partner. Wherever he goes, I go. <laughs> That's correct. That's it. Thank you again and happy playing. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Nice. <laughs>
Yes, you know, it's just great getting out. Last workout of the summer up here at the uh, People's Park. I believe they call it uh, Park Unity. Well, it's not a unity today. Anyway, we're out here at uh, Van Cortland Park South. But it's great. 30 and over basketball, 40 and over basketball, 50 and over basketball, 60 and over basketball. We actually have a couple 70 year olds out here getting some recreation. And it's all about community. It's all about Black Lives Matter. Social engagement, social involvement, political awareness, political education, uh, economics, spirituality, and uh, of course, uh, it's all good in the hood. And we're so glad to be out here, each one teach one. And um, it's just a great time. Thank God for a beautiful Sunday. And uh, hopefully we can find an indoor home for uh, adult recreation, adult supervised recreation. Peace and blessings. Thank you so very much. Finish, 
with the greatest player I ever seen in my life, Lord D. How was it today? Oh, we had a great game. We won six games in a row, and that's a blessing, and I'm very tired. See ya. Chris Alano signing off for the year 2020. Thank you, and God bless. Thank Right.
Shout out to Diamond Video. Huh? Shout out to Diamond Video. Shout out what? Diamond Video. Shout out to Diamond Video. <laughs> no, no. Big shout out to Diamond Video. <laughs> Shout out Diamond the Video. Put them, on, uh, put them on YouTube. Oh. Diamond Video. Very nice. Great game. Shout out Diamond Video. Diamond Video. video. Get the done doing Corona. <laughs>